and welcome to Monkey Business. This is Monkey Business for April 23rd, 2013. And in today's afternoon coffee newser, we have... First, a quick update on aircraft manufacturer Boeing's Dreamliner woes clip above. The company recently received U.S. Federal Aviation Administration permission for Boeing and its customers to install approved modifications to battery systems on their 787 Dreamliner models. Fleets of 787s owned by Japan's largest airlines, All Nippon Airways and rival company Japan Airlines, have been grounded since January 2013 due to problems linked to the battery system of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner model. All Nippon Airways has not confirmed the cost to date of grounding their Dreamliner fleets, but news agency Reuters reports that the airline saw losses of about uh, 900000 in revenue per plane in the last two weeks of January 2013 and that the grounding has already cost Boeing an estimated 600 million U.S. dollars. In January 2013, um, All Nippon Airways had 17 Dreamliners in their fleet, while JAL or Japan Airlines had seven. For more details on the story, just check the links in the info box. And earnings season is in full swing on Wall Street. Huh? Uh Uh-oh. It's earnings season all over again, isn't it? Long hours, late nights, lots of little numbers to look at. Well... Yes. Yes, yes, you know. Just checking. Au revoir. Huh. Well, back to a quick look at some recent developments. First Bank Corporation reports earnings of 33 cents per share in the first quarter of 2013, compared to 25 cents per share in the first quarter of 2012. Film and television content streaming service Netflix reports first quarter uh, 2013 earnings of 31 cents a share, excluding items. That up from a loss of $0.08 cents per share in the year earlier period. The company also reports that they've added uh, 2.03 million members compared to 1.74 million in the first quarter a year prior. The news made Netflix one of the main market movers today up $11 per share by market close. To browse additional details, just check the info box. You can also watch other MB episodes on Netflix news above. In tech, search giant Google and software manufacturer Microsoft both reported a rise in first quarter 2013 profits. More details on earnings results from both companies in the info box. Other episodes with the Google or Microsoft news tidbits are also shown above. Lastly, oil and natural gas exploration and production company Noble Energy announces that its board of directors have approved a two-for-one split of its common stock in the form of a stock dividend. The additional shares will be distributed on May 28, 2013 to shareholders of record at the close of business on May 14, 2013. In addition, Noble Energy's board declared an increase in its quarterly cash dividend to $0.28 per common share, up from $0.25 per common share last quarter. The dividend is payable on May 20, 2013 to the shareholders of record on May 6, 2013. And now over to Marcel for Nearly News. Take it away, Marcel. Wait, where is he? I'm in London, huh? Hello. Today, let's have a look at some expensive glittery trinkets because this has been a record month for them, evidently. First, we have a deep blue diamond uh, trombino ring circa 1965 to be sold at a fan jewelry auction in London, England on April 24, 2013 by auction house Bonhams. Burnham's estimate is uh, 1 million pounds sterling or 1.5 million US dollars, uh, noting that uh, the ring is fancy and the blue diamonds are extraordinarily rare. Fancy that. Ah bien, you know, in today's economic climate, it seems to me that money is extraordinarily rare also, but uh, perhaps it's worth the price. Let's have a look. Hmm. Mm, well, okay, there she is. Minimum of 1.5 million US dollars. Sparkly, huh? Please form an orderly line. Ah, you know who should buy it? That, uh, that anonymous buyer who snapped up a pink diamond from Auction House Custis barely a week ago. The winning bid, and there were only two bidders, evidently. If you're surprised, please raise your hand. And where the winning bid by phone was for the pink diamond that could fit on my thumb. For uh, 1,135,000 US dollars per carriage. In total, 39 million US dollars, or about uh, 25 million pounds sterling. Auction House Christie's notes that it's the most expensive diamond they've ever sold. If someone was having, let's say, a little sippy, glug 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 glug, for darling, what a delightful surprise it would be for someone, or not. 
Morning coffee. Da, da, da. Just pepper, beer. So. I bought what? Oh no. Oh, that's not good. I probably have this certain island. Don't let this happen to you, huh? Of course, you know, maybe you don't really care so much that someone actually paid 39 million US dollars for a small shiny thing. Actually, you know, at a 1 million, including the buyer's premium. The buyer's premium is charged by the auctioneer in addition to the winning bid to cover administrative expenses, you know. Oh, I have to carry this diamond, it's so heavy. Or filling out the paperwork. Uh, how do we work this? Let's see. Uh, for sale, one pink diamond. Okay, launch. So yes, maybe you don't care so much because uh, that's not your problem, huh? I agree. But you know, maybe what's more interesting to read about the all the scandalous doings behind this mysterious diamond. And if that's so, then feel free to browse the whole melodrama in the link in the info box. In this saga, there's a fabulously wealthy but oddball ruler who is noted in the New India Express used a 185 carat diamond worth 200 million US dollars for a paperweight. And had enough pearls to pay off Piccadilly Circus in London, England, somewhere around this city. He also kept staff on hand whose only job was to dust the chandeliers, but reportedly spent most of his time in pajamas and had more than 100 children. Can you imagine? One, two, three, five, oh, I have to count again. Also, part of this drama, there's a family feud. Uh, give me the diamond, huh? Oh. It's mine! No, it's mine! It's mine! It's mine! No, it's mine! I think not! I shake my fist at you! I have the diamond! Oh, gotta go! Oh my gosh, imagine Thanksgiving! Ah, and also a vanishing diamond, huh? <laughs> Which, as it turns out, is worth millions! Imagine that! Oh, I was just here a moment ago! Well, enough to leave it uh, under the couch, under the refrigerator. Where could I have left my diamond? Have you seen my diamond now? Huh? What a strange convoluted history. Nobody knows anything. What is this founder's keepers? C'est bizarre. Well, you know, you can find this in all other kinds of drama right out of a mystery novel, except that it really happened, voila. You know, it's nearly enough to give the story of the curse of the Hope Diamond a run for its money. Only that the diamond is pink instead of blue. You can read about the Curse of the Hope Diamond in the info box, by the way. If you'd like to read about mysteries, money, eccentrics, royals and diamonds with or without curses on them. Or you can watch this quick mini documentary on the Hope Diamond courtesy of the Smithsonian Channel, right here. And that's today's monkey business. Take care, folks. There are some astronomically priced diamonds of wild and mysterious origin out there.